Hi there, my name is Sue Rogers. I'm a NASCAR graduate way back in 1984, and I'm still working as a painter. Uh, it has totally sustained me, my career. Uh, I'm a professional artist, I show my work, and I've always kept a studio of one sort or another. So you are in for a wonderful experience, and um, it's gonna give you a really wonderful creative life. So I really wish you the best of luck. Uh, this studio uh, used to be an apartment. Um, another artist lived here before I did. Uh, and we both used it as our studios. Um, so I'm just gonna take a little swing around here. Uh, so you can see this is one room. I'm working on a triptych of my family did my ancestry DNA a couple of years ago and I, I can't hold all this information in my head so I thought it might be interesting to do a three triptychs. One would be my maternal triptych, one would be my paternal triptych and one would be a contemporary family which I'm still working on. And just on this desk is a uh, something I'll call a herd. I'm working on the idea of creating sort of pre-colonial herd of animals like buffalo, caribou, and huge schools of cod, which used which used to be in the ocean so much so that uh, it stopped the ships of early explorers. So I just thought I'd try to do a big piece of uh, showing what a herd used to look like. Mm -hmm. So then I'm just going to move you into the next room. Uh, here's a little walk through, it's a little walk out from my basement. Uh, here's some other work I'm working on. I'm doing a portrait of my sister and I, we're twins, so I, I often work figuratively with those. And this is, uh, over here is, is the start, whoops. This is a start of my contemporary family triptych. So, and this is the room. This is the second room. I'm really lucky because I got a, I managed to get a little bathroom, which I've spiffed up for myself. And I've got a kitchen, but it's mostly all about the sink and storage. So that's what my, my studio looks like. Um, these are little vintage, um, assemblages that I've been working on about the fishery. Now, I just wanted to say a couple of words so this doesn't go on and on. Um, so, though I've told you what I'm working on, um, I've maintained my, a long career, a really long time, 36 years. Um, and all the... Uh, they asked us to say how NASCAD has informed our work. So um, NASCAD really opened my mind to so many possibilities and directions to go and informed this work just by really blowing my mind and giving me the tools and skills that carried me forward as an artist. Um, to, and then I learned to develop my own voice and it takes a few years. I'm just going to swing around a bit so you can see what I'm working on. Uh, one of the best things, or, I mean, I love to really great things. I mean, we had the studio, we had visiting artists, which were amazing. And uh, we talked about their careers and their work. And then um, I love my art history courses, which gave me context uh, in which I'm working. And uh, so don't ever underestimate your art history courses. They are just fantastic. So things I wished I knew when I started at NASCAD, I wished I'd known that I was going to get, have to get paid work really to sustain my art career. Uh, I wasn't one of, the, one of those who left school and started making money. Um, I wish I'd known that really persistence was going to be the key word to maintaining uh, my art career. I wish I'd known that the business side of art making, which I really didn't understand, but I, I think that they talk to you about business and marketing and 
exhibition proposals now. Um, but I, I really had to learn all that on my own. And um, I'd wished I'd known that fame and fortune wasn't the target, but the process, it's a journey. And the and what's, what's important is the love of a creative life. Now that's the prize. Um, I wish I'd known that some years I might have to stop studio work for a while. I had a family, uh, their family concerns, children, health, earning money, dozens of other things which make up my daily domestic life. Prepare yourself the best you can for life circumstances. I wish I'd known there was going to be fallow times and feast times and creative roadblocks. Jerry Ferguson, one of my painting instructors in the early 80s, always said that you need time to buy your groceries. You need time for relationships, for reflection, and time for your soul to catch up with your body. It's just not all get up, go to the studio, spend eight hours there, have your dinner, go to bed, get up, do it all over again. So I just wanted to add a couple things, but these things are lessons in all areas of life. These are things you discover, and if you're flexible and optimistic, you can weather these things and learn to work with them. So take time for coffee with your friends, develop a network of other artists through art organizations. Being an art monk is not very healthy, as we found out during these COVID times. Good to see other people. Just keep going. Don't be afraid of to go for what you want. Don't give up, just keep going. Have a wonderful year. I'm so excited for you. I wish I was gonna be there to join you. I always thought you could go to art college your whole life because there's just so many amazing things going on. Thanks again, have a lovely day and um, good luck to you all.